now, I notice your list of questions. Sure. As far as I'm concerned, it's very simple. Mm. You ask me whatever question, either come your coming into in, in your mind mm. or that what you have listed. And I want to tell you also that some some of some of these things I don't I don't remember. Of yeah? course, yeah, and sure. One and number two. Um, uh, Let's let's uh, um, mm, well, yeah. chat. Yeah, just chat. Try to, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I can start first, or you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me just um explain a bit about uh where I'm kind of coming from. First of all, I want to thank you, obviously, Tun Musaitam, for agreeing uh to join today. I've actually just finished uh working in a stroke rehab ward about one year ago. So I was on the stroke rehabilitation ward in England where I'm doing my training about, uh, for six months. So, uh, so I can uh, um, empathize and understand, you know, where you're coming from, the journey you've had, uh, and you know, all the kind of uh, challenges that you faced. I've not, I, I don't know what it's like, but obviously I've seen quite a number of people go through it. So I think, I want to thank you for agreeing to this for that. Uh, and also, uh, I watched your interview, I think two weeks ago, you had an interview with Sina Haryan, I think. It's on YouTube. Quite lengthy uh, on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was not happy, to be honest with you. Mm. Uh, Johan is reputedly uh, a well-known journalist. Mm. But he, me, he had been after me for so long yeah. in the sense, in terms of one thing, interview. Mm. And uh, Sina also were uh, celebrating their 15th anniversary. Mm. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I was I was willing to accept it because I had not given an interview for many, 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 many years. Mm. Number Number two, I never, I've not been touching its subjects relating to politics because I was holding this position called the president of the World Islamic Economic Forum. Yeah. For 15 yeah. years, on my own accord, mm. I insisted that both and that organization should strictly uh, deal with business and the, the word Islamic is relating to economic yeah. and religion. Mm. Because this organization started in Kuala Lumpur, one of the first exercises that they tried was to have uh, 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 a conference, a small conference. Uh, Organized by the this this group on 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 economy, and it broke up in in in, in literally on, in in chaos mm. because issues of halal haram <laughs> and walk taking place in that sense. Yeah, yeah. very very bad. So because of that, I said, okay, if you want to talk politics or religion, you want to argue go somewhere else. Mm. We're not banning it, but in order to 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 to, to focus on issues of relating to international businesses with the, the base being Islamic. Mm. Yeah, which which then welcome non Muslims as long as they 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 they, 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 can, they can relate to us. So thank God yeah for so long. 15 years without fail, I've had meetings all over the world. Mm. The, the, the most successful ones was the one we had in London. Yeah, for example, we were from different parts of the world. Uh, as uh, as it happens that from the 1st of August, I would mm. I just read from that. Okay. So I'm very, I'm very free sort of thing in my yeah. in my. I so I was to what I wanted to say was the fact that you could go uh, almost an hour plus was very good for somebody who's recovered from stroke. So 
I just wanted to congratulate no, you upset. on that. <laughs> it's true. But I want to tell you, I was so upset. Oh, okay. Because he told me it cannot be more than one hour, which I said was too much. And the questions, you know, he was trying to pin, pin me. Yeah, down sure. To so, so hopefully, and, I won't try to yeah. pin you on any current events. I'm just trying to okay. dig, up, dig up some uh, stories in history. So, basically... Yeah, yeah. My grandfather, as you know, um, was a politician back in the day, was the longest serving Menteri Besar, uh, Ketua Pemuda AMNO at maybe one can say its peak. Uh, and he, of course, went to jail in 1978 on two uh, counts, two cases, one Hong Kong Shanghai Bank uh, corruption case for 250,000 ringgit and a case to do with bank rakyat. Uh, which was to do with criminal breach of trust and forgery. Uh, so uh, basically when he was in jail and prior, maybe about a year prior in 1977, he kept uh, some diaries with him, which he wrote on a daily basis. And it basically covers 1977 to 1981, uh, the period where he just came out of jail after his pardon. So in his diaries, he writes that I hope one day my children or my grandchildren can uh, maybe uh, clear me from the wrongdoing that he has been accused. So I managed to get a hold of the diaries. I read them all, uh, or copies of them, rather. It? Sorry? Is it published? There's a, there's a translated version in Malay that's published, but the, origin, the original writing is in English. Uh, so I was going to pass you a copy. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I'm doing all these interviews and contacting various people to try and uh, get as much information as possible. So what's your initial memories of Dato Harun? What would they be? No, uh, I can just immediately uh, what I tell you. Uh, as I just told you before I to start just now, I am not in a position to tell you on that date, that year, mm. etc. Sure. Uh, in which, let me tell you, and that uh, uh, as far as I was uh, uh, concerned, in the sense of uh, my knowledge of Dr. Harun, was that I do I did know him. I knew him as already been a public figure in Selangor. Yeah? He was also known and as a in, 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 in uh, to be honest with you specifically I think his activities in football football Selangor football those days. In, in sports, he was active, and his name, we knew, Dato Harun, uh, uh, that way. But uh, as time went by, went by and I, um, um, I left government, then I went um, rather uh, at a short time, a couple of years actually, when I left government service, then I joined um, uh, a business organization that took me to, uh, to, to Brunei, to be honest, Brunei. And uh, that time, I was not in the know of, I was not in the know of that one. Only when I came in, to, to, when I came to Kuala Lumpur, that was the time, it was 1966 or 67. I came to Kuala Lumpur because I was appointed by Dato Sadon, the, 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 Dato Sadon, the then uh, Amno Youth Leader. Mm. Yeah? He, was, uh, he became Amno Youth Leader much later. I'm talking about Dato Sadon now. But as Minister of Transport, somehow or other, which is another story, 
Dr. Sadun took me in as his political secretary. That brought me into Kuala Lumpur. And as it happened, being a graduate at that time, also being an ex civil service uh, man at that time, and by then I had come back from about two years of uh, posted, not posted, I was a student leader at the national level. Yeah. I got elected, I was posted in Holland uh, for two years. And during that time, relating to Holland with, with my knowledge or all that, I was related, uh, Dr. Sadhu knew about me. So, what brought me into Kuala Lumpur was immediately a political reason. Yeah? Now, that's how I, I explain that that's how the, the name of Dato Harun came very close to me. Now, by then, he himself was a politician. Yeah. Yeah. And so in that sense. Now, as time went by, actually rather fast, um, I became uh, from from being political secretary to Sadon at party party level level I became Ketua Bagian Agama and uh, I rose up in, in Amno Johor and then I was elected yeah I was elected Amno Youth uh, and straight away going into unknown youth issues. At that time, this is this brought us to um, um, May, May 13th. Yeah. Uh, May 13th time, that was a tumultuous uh, time yeah. within Abno. Mm. Because of May 13th and riots, etc. Um, the, 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 the established UMNO leadership uh, were, were, were faced with uh, the, the, the demand for change. Yeah? And uh, uh, in the midst, not in the midst, well, of, related to that, that those, those one or two years, yeah, Amno uh, Youth uh, had it, its normal annual general meetings, and that was the time when they were talking about a search for leadership. Now Amno Youth was uh, was uh, now I'm in trouble because mm -hmm. I get confused whether uh, when uh, that uh, yes. Uh, the leadership of Amno Youth was what I'm not quite sure whether Sadon was still leader mm. Amno Youth or maybe it's his uh, your 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 uncle who's Swami. Oh yes, Dato Swami. Yeah. After, before or after Dato Arun? Uh, Dato Arun. He's after. I think after. Yeah. After. after yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it must have been at that time. Uh, uh, in, in search of, of new leadership. And if I may say, um, on the one hand, the established uh, leadership, uh, I, I will just mention to you the, the, the wannabes, the wannabes of unknown youth leader made up of, for, the, for, for lack of a better word, I would say they belong to the right wing, <laughs> the right wing of Anno, yeah. whereas uh, Dato Harun and me and believe it or not, Mahadeer, uh, we were branded as the uh, left wing, i.e. communist. Mm. Anybody in the government was branded as communist. Yeah? So that it was in that, in that uh, environment in the mood that uh, Amnu Youth was searching for leadership. That was where when we came in. 
Now, there was no, there was no uh, uh, direct uh, arrangement of my relationship with Dato, Dato Arun, yeah? And uh, I was never involved with the discussion, um, having any agenda, any group, uh, um, ambition, uh, not at that time. I'm talking about myself, vis-a-vis yeah. -vis Harun, mm. plus others. In other words, we did not sit down, no, come on, uh, let's, let's uh, go in and go in and, and fight them, mm. etc. Can I just ask something I, on this point? Because my, yes, gran yes, my grandfather's uh, maybe in books, in written text, yes. he's kind of notoriously associated with May 13th. Uh, to the extent that if you read even uh, Tunku Abdul Rahman's uh, uh, memoirs or his kind of autobiographies will mention few names, his uh, Dato Arun's name, Tun Razak's name, even Tun Dr. Mahathir's name as part of like a plot to topple him. Do you have any thoughts about that? Yeah, I was, well, I was planning uh, to, to talk about this anyway. Mm. Good, you, you, I mean, we go straight into that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, I submit that Dato Harun, neither Raza, had no in no, 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 no relationship uh, regard, regarding plot, a plot to topple the government or to, 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 to cause chaos so that government will change whether, well, in, in some cases when in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, pro, in the course of discussion talking about, uh, the communist plot, etc. We were not, to the best of my knowledge, there was no mention, no inkling, as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, I know of individuals in my, if I may say, in my group, yeah, i.e. the so-called le le left wing, left wing. Uh, people, yeah? uh, they are the type who talk about it, but then talking about it actually meant an analysis or in-depth discussion of the uh, the situation or a, a critique, if I may say, of the government. And Tiku Abdul Rahman being the Prime Minister, lots of things to talk about. Yeah? Sure. And, uh, and uh, most of them at that time, of course, very critical. Yeah, the two is his tidapa attitude. Yeah. Um, uh, I wrote a, a letter even on this yeah. May 13, to Raza, a copy to Nisma, criticizing the two of Rama. Now back to the plot, yeah? There was no such thing, even though I was close. Yeah, by, by then, I think I was uh, already uh, uh, no, no, I was being, being political, political secretary, but I was already member of parliament, yeah, by that time. Uh, I was not involved, neither, neither did I know, neither did I have, have uh, did I have any inkling, yeah? But maybe to back it, to back it, I will relate to you two things. Number one, to me, Dato Harun was the Menteri Besar of Selangor. Yep. One. Number two, the, during the elections of '69, he was active. He was, of course, he was one of the top leaders of AMNO mm. in that sense. Now, go fast forward within those days, May 13th. It was only natural to expect the Malays to go to him, especially from Kampung Baru. Yeah. Kampung Baru is where the Malays are, and uh, his residence is really, literally, in Kampung Baru. You know, the MB's uh, uh, 
and this residence, yeah. the government, just within, within walking distance now. Yes. So if, if you could imagine the chaos of the elections and the night mm. and the day, yes. everybody was looking for leadership. What else and who else would it be? The material side. That explains the crowd. It was not Harun, yeah? it was Malay sentiment in mm. search of leader in time of crisis. Okay? Yeah. Now, to, just to extend a little bit, these are little incidents that you might have heard, but I want to say this. Sure. Of Dato, uh, now come Tun Raza. Tun Raza, within that day, day or two, but at the height of the day, on May 13th, he called Dato Harun. He called, he called Dato Harun by phone to ask him, to ask Dato Harun to try to disperse the, uh, the Malays to go home. Uh, I mean, to put it in, in, in simple Malay. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, to go just just to go straight away um, rather than other flowery explain, uh, explanation. Mm. I say that by the time Father called Harun, the Malays had indeed come out of Dr. Harun house not to go home but to fight. Mm. Uh, you fight in inverted commas. Yeah. That's how it is. So, in one stroke, if I may say, my relating to you, it, mm. uh, it, 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 it dispels that to Arun's uh, uh, role, alleged role, and also it also dispels the idea to say that Raza was behind. Yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. Are you there? So, uh, so, I can kind of concur with you in that sense because actually there's an article written by Tan Chi Kun, the late Tan Sri Tan Chi Kun, about uh, his uh, involvement uh, or non, non-involvement in May 13th. And then that published in the Star. I have the article with me. And then that also corroborates with when I wrote to Tun Hanif Omar, who was ex-IGP, and he was one of the people that gave evidence for the NOC at the time, basically clearing him. And then I believe Tun Dr. Ismail in his first memoir was one of the politicians who wanted to blame my grandfather for it. But after the investigation, he was convinced otherwise. So for me uh, personally, I'm quite happy that he wasn't uh, directly involved or didn't instigate it. And I think the evidence will, will back it up or rather the the variety of views is quite comprehensive. Um, let, 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 let me interrupt here. There. Sure. Um, another little, little, little story. Let me say. Hmm. I mean, Nato Harun was also a DPP, I think, if I'm not mistaken. At one point, Islamic. yeah. Before, yes. Yeah. And, you know, he mixed around very, 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 very liberally with anybody, especially to mention relevant to it here, with Chinese as friends, normal, yeah. educated. And uh, I, I also, you know, I, I, I need to mention that the, the width of his contacts it was typically Malaysian rather than Malay. In I agree, manner. yes, yeah. And uh, also, ironically enough, his one of his daughter-in-laws is Chinese, which is my mom. <laughs> and then he he also has a uh, you know children who he adopted who are Chinese because there's this very strong narrative that he's uh, this kind of ultra nationalist Chinese butchering kind of personality, which I'm trying to dispel. Basically, it's not fair. Um, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, so of course. May 13th is a one important episode in his career. And then what, did you have any other involvement with him in Pemuda Amno after that? Because I think you were Timbalan at one point, yes? 
No, no, no. Uh, well, uh, until you uh, interrupted me mm. to talk this particular issue, yeah. I was going to tell you sure. that in the course of looking for new leadership, I'm no youth was in the front line. Okay. Number one. Number two, they uh, put up, they means we. We, not, not a, in, a, in a way of uh, 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 in a way of toppling government, etc., to get together. Uh, Dato Harun was nominated as uh, Amno Youth Leader, and I was nominated as deputy. They, they means the right way. You know, let me, I want to qualify it mm. for the lack of a word. Mm. I use the word, them, the right wing. Eh? They put up Alba, side Alba. Can you imagine? <laughs> As I'm not, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Huh? I'm no youth leader. And his deputy was, uh, no. uh, he was with Utusat, what's his name? My God. Osman. Okay, uh, the Johor MB. Uh, Osman no, 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 no. no. No, no. Os okay. Osman was chief editor of Utusan, I think. Okay. okay. Not Manan. Yeah. That was another one. Manan, Abdullah. That's for Johor. Yeah. Uh, but Osman, uh, check it out. Yeah, I'll, was, I'll have uh, a look. Yeah, sure. And running, running mate. Mm. Very seriously. Hmm? You know, I, I put up, uh, yeah, I know you are, you are, you are. You are laughing, so am I. You know, <laughs> we are all laughing, but it was serious. It was uh, the Pinku's people, mm, you know. Sure. Uh, this a little diversion again. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, after May 13th, especially, uh, witnessed the rise of two factions in Amno. And a very interesting thing I need to say, which I do, I do think opportunity each time I have the opportunity we uh, witness the emerging of emergence of two factions and one was headed by the Brahman the other one was Raza, Raza's boy of course so uh, in the Amno youth election it emerged in that way mm. uh, uh, Jaf Jaffa Alba okay. was uh, uh, you, ultra, yeah. the word, you know? mm -hmm. yeah? and uh, but uh, that Harun uh, and Musa was uh, you know, because both of us were educated, if I may say, mm. you know, formal with degrees, but those two, neither uh, Alba mm. nor uh, mm. Osman, Osman uh, were, were educated by such. Yeah? Mm. And uh, I think we trashed them, in other words, we won. Mm. Uh, uh, it it was to be expected, and I can I, I can tell you happily that uh, uh, the mood within Amnon youth anyway is that they needed change. That in that sense, um, uh, now I use the word believe it or not, because Mahade uh, changed his position in his life, but he was on our group. Uh, he was. Uh, he was also the ultra yet being left wing. Can you can you imagine the two opposite opposite brand? Yeah. He is ultra as well as communist <laughs> <laughs> left wing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. The whole lot of actors. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It a confusion uh, in the minds of Malays, if I may say, mm. generally. Malays were confused because we were, because May thirteenth was uh, something which which made up we were all confused, we were yeah. all hurting something. And still that not resolved, I think, the confusion from then. I think the confusion from them still not resolved, still in the air. It's worse. <laughs> you, want, you want to know the latest, I can tell you right now, that's why I'm a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> that's another 